the whole concept of you know dictating for someone else what they should want how they should want it how it should be served up even if it's some ridiculous shit that just sounds ridiculous to me like um you know i, I saw some dude talking about you know submission and you know things like that the, the, the stuff they love to talk about in mm -hmm. in the manosphere and it's like the way he was talking it sounds like he walks down the street and grabs women by the shoulders and was like you better be submissive like oh my god <laughs> Who want to get who 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 get so enraged when they hear a woman's standard? She first of all, one, you're probably not in the same city as her. You're not in the same surroundings as her. Your phone number is not in her phone. You're not speaking to her in her DMs. You're nowhere near her or in the vicinity of where she is searching for this partner that matches her ideals. Right? No matter how far fetched you may think they are. She has a goal and she's going to try to achieve it within her means. That does yeah. not mean that that includes you, that you are now a part of her plans to be checked off the mark. Like you're getting ready to stand in line for her to be like, okay, do you have this? And you just go sit there and be like, nah, like she didn't even ask you, bruh. No, <laughs> but this is showing that there's going to be more. I feel like we're going to see even more extremes in the collective. <laughs> and how that's actually harmful or how it transforms it because <laughs> the whole concept of you know dictating for someone else what they should want how they should want it how it should be served up even if it's some ridiculous shit that just sounds ridiculous to me like um you know i, I saw some dude talking about you know submission and you know things like that but the the stuff they love to talk about in, mm -hmm. in the manosphere. And it's like the way he was talking, it sounds like he walks down the street and grabs women by the shoulders and was like, you better be submissive. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Woo! Let's go, boys. Let's go, man. All right, guys. Today we're talking about the three ways to make any girl submit, right? I don't care who the girl is. All right, a lot of you guys still have a problem with this. You know, you're dating chicks and they're not fully giving you their all. They're not, you know, they're not submitting to you. And you want to know how, right? So guys, let's jump into the video, man. Number one way to get a girl to submit to you is she must see you. Listen to me carefully, guys. She must see you as higher sexual market value than her. She must see you as having higher SMV than her, right? Guys, it is physically is physically impossible right <laughs> physically impossible for a girl to see you as a five and she's a ten and for her to submit to you it will not happen she has to see you as higher smv she has to at least the same right if she's an eight she better at least see you as an eight right minimum if she's a if she's a seven you can't be no seven like you i, I think you have to literally be a eight, nine, or ten for a woman to submit to you. It is in their nature. They can't, especially with the girls we're dealing with now. Get they, they, you know, resources and all that shit doesn't really matter so much. So it must be a guy that they see that okay, damn, this dude, he has other options from women. Other women find him attractive, so I should submit to him, right? Because here's my thing, okay, and from an astrological perspective, if I, some people are a lot more direct in general right um i've read several different things um people's theories i was trying to find one to put up on the screen and i could not find it swore it was saved in my google photos where someone was saying if you're a woman and your son is in a fire or an air sign you're masculine if you're a woman and your sun sign is in a water or earth sign you're just naturally more feminine and receptive now granted 
we ain't taking into account the whole chart like you always say, get the chart right get the chart but I, I just started thinking about how people are making these standards for an entire group of people based upon things i mean traditionally um women were receptive even our sex organs are receptive we receive the seed like you understand what i mean right right he went on a first date with a woman who's a very entrepreneurial woman who runs a very successful business the first date i told her meet me here dressed like this i ordered her drinks i ordered her food i took care of it all and this is a woman who's extremely masculine in her everyday life she's in charge of people she manages the whole business so she has to be on edge and responsible her whole daily life i come along and i relieve that responsibility from her during this window of time that we're together that allows her to get into her feminine and to be submissive around me you want a dude that's gonna wear heels on Saturdays? But he don't have to be feminine. No, I'm asking you. Do you want a guy that wears heels on Saturdays? He don't have to be feminine. Answer the question. Do you want a man that wears heels on Saturdays? <laughs> no, you're not answering mine. Whose podcast are you on? All right. So, do you want a man that wears heels on Saturdays? Okay. So, why would a man want a woman that acts like a dude? I, I'm just saying, like, yo, you don't expect us to accept masculine women. I'm not, you're not gonna accept a feminine man. So why should I accept the masculine woman? Yeah, sip your, sip your like, it, it, I'm just like, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. you want us to tolerate your fuckery, but you would never tolerate my fuckery. Oh, hell no. Dominant woman. All right, but it makes sense to me that some women who are a lot more proactive and active and i don't want to say aggressive because that just sounds bad what, what's a good word assertive assertive thank you thank you thank, thank you I, what did i just find a word yes <laughs> <laughs> when oh there's four people whose mercuries and somehow are affected by <laughs> neptune energy one of them is going to help the other when there's only two of us you know what i mean <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> otherwise we both are oh I don't know what I was going to say, but it would make sense. Yeah. And I think people get this wrong because if a man is a more feminine man, so to speak, that evokes a certain picture in people's heads. Where for me, looking at it astrologically, you're more receptive. So, you know, things have to come to you and then you do something with it. You're not making things happen, so to speak, like uh, right. with that sort of energy. Right. It's the same if everybody has a birth chart and everybody's birth chart is different. Like, I'm just thinking in my head, I wish some of these people knew about astrology and a lot of them are shunning it. That's just some shit that women do to, you know, entertain themselves. They don't even understand that it's an entire practice. It's just, no, you are you have a vagina, so why aren't you submitting to every man? I even watch videos of, what the fuck, Donovan, what is his name? I'll, I'll remember and put it up okay. on the screen. He makes a series of videos with his girlfriend about whether or not your woman is a good woman or a bad woman with examples oh. like this. If you're at a restaurant, she should not make eye contact with the waiter. She shouldn't even talk to the waiter. You should be ordering her food. Okay, so she is going to do for uh, uh, appetizer, she's gonna go to, with a wood grilled corn, aged cheddar, or spiced bacon. Uh, for dinner, she's gonna go with the field green salad and the, uh, the wood grilled main lobster tail. I am gonna go with the lobster bisque for uh, appetizer and then I'm gonna go with the, uh, the lamb loin. Kind of cross the lamb loin. Uh, medium. Hashtag well-trained women that can still end up cheating on you. Stop. You're doing a lot. And if I'm the waiter, I'm like, what's wrong with this one? Her eyes glued to the floor. She held hostage. So your girl can't make contact with the waiter. Why? Hold on. Why? I just want to hear why. Oh, because it's disrespectful. I'm the man. She should only be looking at me. Let me ask you. When your girl goes to work. Does she look people in the eyes or does she never make eye contact? Does she see a male customer and then avert her gaze? Like, what are we talking about? Are, are, are guys so insecure now? Okay. And I mean, you have to be deeply terrified of being hurt by somebody to think that her making eye contact with somebody at a service job is an issue. And you think that's a sign of well-trained dude. 
I think you just need some therapy. I think you need to do some healing. She can't take her phone into the bathroom because women cheat on their phones in the bathroom. Oh my God. I'm going to the bathroom. All right. I told you I don't commit to women who take their phones into the bathroom. I just forgot this one time, okay? Okay. So, are we good then? Yep, I called you an Uber. This is so petty. Call it what you want, but this is how I move, and you've known this from the start. Ladies, don't pretend you've never texted an ex in the bathroom. Or swipe for sausage on Tinder while in the shower. Or God knows what else you don't want your man to find out about. Like all, all these rules that are trying to be ascribed to an entire set of people, where it's like, really? Because, because she's a woman, this is how you assert yourself as a man. This is how you show dominance. This is how you lead. Well, now we're going to hear an origin story from Donovan himself at 32. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you guys the Reader's Digest version. I started paralegal school when I was 31 years old, and there is this uh, there is this hot hot 19 year old in my class. We took a shine to each other immediately, right? It was a great relationship. We spent every day together. Blah 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 blah. Red flag number one that I didn't even think about. One day I had a headache in class. She says, "What's wrong?" I said, "Well, I've got a headache." She's like, "All right." Reaches into her purse and she gives me this big white pill. I'm like, "What is that?" She says, "It's Vicodin." What's a 19 year old doing with a bag full of Vicodin, right? <laughs> Red flag number two, she had homemade tattoo on her wrist. Stay with me. Red flag number three, she had a six year old. She was 19 years old who had a six year old, which means what class? She had her child at 13, 13. which means she was having at 12. It gets even better. The baby daddy was in prison at the time we were dating. Oh. Statutory, statutory EPAR. Here's the reason why they didn't throw the book at him with Jessica's Law. It's because she testified to the jury that she seduced him and the jury actually bought it. She left her account open on my computer on Facebook. I scrolled through, saw all kinds of stuff, drove to her place. I said, I want you to be honest with me. Have you cheated on me? I wanted her to lie to me. And I, I wanted her to lie to me so I could just keep up the delusion. She said, honestly, yes. That is the worst, the worst emotional pain I've ever felt in my life to this day. I never will. Dude, I dude, I went to her bathroom, I puked, ripped off the necklace. She's blowing me up, she's blowing me up at work all day long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't pick up the phone. So finally, I picked up the phone. She's like, hey, I'm sorry, you know, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Da, 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 da. She's like, look, I want to come to your place. I have a birthday surprise for you. So she comes over, she has like this little cupcake and she bought me a watch that she knew I was looking at. Then she turns around and lifts up her shirt. There was my name tattooed on the small of her back. Dude, my hand to the man. So I was back in her, I was back in her clutches. Things went all, it was all downhill from there. Guys, this story gets so much worse. How old were you? I was 31. I was 31 what? years old. Yeah, she continued cheating on me, right? So I'm always trying to catch her. I lost my job. I lost the place that I was at. I, the car that I had was paid for because I paid cash for it. It broke down. I didn't have a job, so I couldn't get it fixed. I'm evicted. I ended up having to live with a couple of her, a couple of her drug addict friends in a quasi crack house. And I kept, I, I kept trying to get back with her September 16th baby daddy gets out of prison okay baby daddy gets out of prison i called her up on september 15th i said you know what i can't do it i think you still i think you still love ben i can't do it anymore dude she cried her eyes out hung up the phone i stayed up all night long i couldn't sleep so i called her up i called her up the next day i was like hey um you know meet me at this meet me at this gas station then i called up my brother and i borrowed 800 dollars. he gave me 800 dollars. i went to the jewelry store i bought her a ring proposed to her <laughs> I proposed, I, listen, it, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, listen, it gets worse, it gets worse, I swear to God. People want, listen, people wonder why I speak with such conviction about these things. Dude, it, look, it, looks, it gets worse, it gets worse. So she says yes, right? So now, you know, all of her friends are like, oh, she's getting engaged. Well, eventually she started f***ing the baby daddy behind my back. Of course. So we were in this, we were in this love triangle. Anytime she was pissed off at me, she'd go and f*** him. Anytime she was pissed off at him, she would come and uh, she would come and f*** me. So finally on Thanksgiving, um, this girl calls me up and tells me that she was now engaged to be married to Ben, right? I'm crushed, I'm heartbroken, I'm crestfallen. During the summer, during the summer, she lost an exorbitant, she was already a small girl. Yeah. She lost an exorbitant amount of weight. I found out that she was shooting heroin all summer long, she got arrested for possession. The, guy, the people I was staying with had called the cops and ratted her out. So now she's in jail, right? And of, and of course, I have to save my fair maiden. I called up an old roommate and borrowed $1,350 to bail her out. 
she gets out, I love you, I love you, then goes right back to Ben. This is why people always wonder why I'm such a, I'm such a, I'm, I'm so passionate and I'm so sure. I have seen the worst, I've been in the worst of the worst situations. It is the worst situation I have ever been in. And then like, remember you were talking about the pushback? Mm -hmm. It just keeps going like this. Like it's getting more and more extreme. Yeah. And I'm just like, this is a fucking train crash that I can't look away from. Oh my, you reminded me, you said this is how you, you show your dominance. There was a, a a girl on TikTok who was getting upset about how men are worried about what women are wearing and their lashes and their makeup and their hair. And she said, go build a house, bro. Yeah. Sometimes men get their opinions and I just be like, aren't you supposed to be building a house? You know who don't have time to worry about what I do with my hair? Men who build houses, bro. Ain't you supposed to be building a log cabin? It's plenty of trees to be cut down, bro. You worry about the wrong stuff. I don't like girls' birthday makeup. Ain't you supposed to be lost at sea, bro? Ain't you supposed to be catching fish, bro? You supposed to be hunting, bro? Why you worry about what I do with my face? I don't like lashes. I don't like long nails. Go build a house. You worry about the wrong stuff. It used to be artisans. Used to be craftsmen, bro. Go shine a shoe, bro. Start a business. You all up in man. Start a business, bro. Paint something. Men used to paint. They used to sculpt, bro. You worry about, oh, I don't like girls that build a house. Sculpt something. Have you seen the Sistine Chapel? That's what men used to make. We talking about uh, some of the greatest architecture. Y'all, That's y'all bag. What you doing, bro? Go start a renaissance, bro. Start a renaissance, bro. Be all up in y'all feelings in the paragraphs. Put the energy into writing a script, bro. Shakespeare been there, bro. Who coming next? Not you. You over here typing paragraphs, tweeting, multi-tweet tweets, bro. Multi-tweet tweets, bro. That's what you do. You making Twitter threads, bro. You need to be threading and sewing, bro. Go start a new, you know, house design some, bro. Aren't you supposed to be lost at sea? She said the 16th chapel was built by men. That's y'all bag. Like, go sculpt something. Like, that I was cracking up when I saw that. Because I was sitting there going, for all these men to say what they're dominant at, it's never anything that is the the traditional sense of what a yeah. man is. Use a modern motherfucker, like you a modern man. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Astro G Ladies Roundtable discussion, where we discuss current events through an astrological lens, as well as do astrological breakdowns practically so that you can better connect with astrology. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when we post a new video. More on this discussion is coming up in the next episode. Peace!